this is BBB Productions and this is a video tutorial um, on WinRAR. WinRAR in my opinion is probably the best compressing RAR file and zip file handler there is out there. Um, but it does cost money. Basically you can just go to Google and type in WinRAR and you can find tons of places to download it. But you're going to be downloading the trial. If you want to buy it you can pay a lot of money and just buy the code key to activate it. Yeah, all you're buying is the code key to activate it. Um, if you can find the key somehow else, I don't know how, but if you could, then you can activate it that way too. Anyways, let's open up WinRAR. Okay, well, uh right here is WinRAR at the top there are tabs add extract to test view delete find wizard info repair you probably will never use these in your lifetime but I mean if you need to then I'm not going to teach you how to because I do not use those uh, well the delete you just select the file and then delete whatever um basically where these are is I clicked on the file Shanghai Knights that is where all these files are located now, after you download these RAR files, you need to put them all together. So you select all of them, and then you go up here to Extract To. This is one of the tabs that you will use. Extract To. And then you select select the um, folder that you want to go in. So I'm going to select Forge, push OK, and it puts them all together. It takes about a minute and a half. But for the purpose of not making you guys wait, I already did it. And here it is, Shane High Nuts. The finishing video file all put together. Now if I open the file where I have all these um things RAR files, if you want to be a little bit more organized, you can put them together in another RAR file. So you can put all these RAR, tiny RAR files in another RAR file. So basically you just select all of them, right click on one, add to archive. You can then push OK and it will add them to an archive. See if I click on this RAR file right here, it will tell me what is inside Shanghai Nights. But if you put all these files together, it will show all the little files are inside. But notice that this file is 14, about 14 megabytes. Now if I click on it and open it, it says 790 megabytes. It's because it opens all of them together instantly. But it's better just to like connect them all together like I showed you. So yeah. Uh, the next thing. Okay, I'm going to delete all these. Okay, we have this file right here, the video file. Well, just say you want to put make this into a RAR file, compress it, make it smaller right click, add to archive okay you gotta name it select what you wanna name it um, RAR file and then compression method best would be really slow but it guarantee it's gonna be really good good is like really good, it's still really slow it's good Normal is just the basic default that everyone uses. Fast is for people that can't wait. Fast is is people that probably want their raw files to get fucked up. And they really have no patience. That might not be true for everyone, but I'm just saying. Um, split volumes to bytes. These are bytes. Um, uh, wait, bytes. Kilobytes are right here. The megabytes big size they have default sizes see this would be 98 megabytes this is 4 gigs uh, this is I don't know yeah bytes um, anyways instead of selecting these defaults just say you want to have each file 14 megabytes each raw file 14 megabytes you just type 14 if you type in 14, it's not going to work. You gotta push space and B for megabytes. If you don't know what to put in there, see kilobytes is KB MB. So if you want one gigabyte, 
one space GB it's whatever you want but today we are going to do 14 MB okay I'm push ok and then we'll load I'm gonna do one file and let it load just to show you guys what it does All right, there is one file. It is not exactly 14 megabytes because the total size of the movie file, if you had each thing 14 megabytes, you would have extra files that are like 300 kilobytes or something. So they just add a little bit more on there, and that's okay. Uh, and that is basically it, and that's how you use WinRAR, and it's a excellent file, and I highly recommend that you get it. There are free ones out there if you can find them. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to rate this video. And also, subscribe to my YouTube.